So I am so excited to do this video today. I have a huge Lush haul to share with you guys and even better yet I have a gift for you guys. So I am so excited to get started. So to start off this Lush haul I decided I was going to share with you some limited edition items that they have brought out for Valentine's Day. And to start off I got a soap which is called the Willow Pattern Soap. What sold me on this is I have been on this rose scent craze lately and this is the smell like rose, Brazilian lemon, and rosewood. And just pretty much anything rose lately has been flooding my boat so I had to get this one. And I just got a little chunk of it and it smells so nice. I got this like weird kind of iridescent pattern through it. it. Smells just really very nice and clean and exactly how you want a kind of luxurious nice soap to smell like. The next thing I was so excited when I saw it, it is part of their Valentine's Day limited edition items but it, it's not necessarily Valentine's Day like. When I saw it all I could think about is Super Mario Brothers. And it is the Magic Mushroom Bubble Bar. And it is so cute. It just smells really nice and really sweet. And not too like synthetic smelling. It just smells like fresh strawberries and vanilla. It's just really kind of cute and fun. The next item is a bath bomb. It's called the X Factor. And it's just a little blue bath bomb with a little pink little heart. And it's one of my favorite smelling items that I got today. It is a vanilla scented bath bar. And it's supposed to turn your water blue, which I kind of love. I love the idea of the water being like really blue-like. And I actually have a few items today that do turn your, your water blue. I love baths. I love everything that can make a bath more fun. I just love having any kind of like little something. Again, this is, smells so nice and just a fun little addition to your bath. So an item I got today that I've never got before, I've always kind of looked at it and thought it looked so interesting was a bubble room. And this one is the Yuzo and Coco bubble room. And it smells like oranges and chocolate. It just smells really, really nice. I've never used one of these items before. I kind of, I'm dying to see what it looks like when it, I drop it in the bath. But just generally speaking, I really kind of love this scent. It just is really kind of a soft, sweet, orangey, chocolatey scent. Mmm, yummy. My dog's about to join us right now. Hey, buddy. So the next one I got was the Rose Jam Bubble Room. And it smells just like roses. And again, I've been really into roses this month. February, Valentine's Day, everyone's getting roses, sunny roses, and that's probably that's why I just like the idea of roses so much. This smells like an amazing just bouquet of roses. And this is supposedly made with rose oil, rose absolute, which is another essential oil, and coconut oil is in the middle of this bubble room. And it's supposed to be softening and moisturizing for your skin. And I, it feels extremely moisturizing. This is almost like holding a massage bar. It's just so moisturizing. And I just, I cannot wait to try this out and get started. The next item is the Ma Bar by Lush and it is a toffee and chocolate bar with a little center of brown sugar. This is just such a warm kind of nice smell. It just smells just like kind of like a fresh baked cookie, like a sugar cookie almost. It just smells really really nice. It's supposed to give you kind of like chocolatey bubbles and just a really nice scent and I cannot wait to use this one. So now I'm going to show you my bath bombs that I got. I absolutely love bath bombs. I think I love them so much because I think they can be the most fun. A lot of times Lush will do something really kind of weird with their like bath bombs. They'll have like secret like stashes in them or as they dissolve like flowers splurt out or just some kind of craziness going on. So it's always kind of like a surprise whenever you get a new bath bomb from Lush. The first one I got was the Big Blue Bath Bomb. And this smells so nice and so clean. It smells like the ocean. I am a beach girl myself and I love the ocean. This kind of totally takes me there. And really what got me on this to buy this item was, number one, it was new. Number two, it smelled just really clean. And then the third thing that got me really interested in buying this is that it said it will turn your water 
blue like the ocean and I just love the idea of having a blue water bath. And then the last bath bomb I got was the really really popular Tipsy Toasty and again this is just feeding off of my rose craze this month and it smells just like roses. It's shaped like a heart. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It says that this is made with rose and orris root. The rose perfume is supposed to ease tension and then also promote happy feelings which is kind of like being in love and I love the idea of roses this month and I just love the way that this smells. The next item is an item I didn't think I was necessarily going to get. I just kind of went there and just out of the blue decided I wanted to, to go ahead and try this. And what it is is the coconut deodorant powder. I asked the girl at lunch how she liked it. She said she liked it a lot. And it smells so coconutty. It says it smells like a tropical like drink and it kind of does. It just smells really, really coconutty. Which I don't mind. The way that you're supposed to do this is you open up the flap. I haven't opened it yet. And you sprinkle some in your hand and then pat it underneath your arms. And it's obviously really easy to travel with. I don't keep any deodorants in my car because every now and then it gets really hot. And then next thing you know is you have deodorant or antiperspirant all smeared across your seats or in your car melted somewhere. This obviously is car friendly. So that's just another thought about how this is just a really great product that I've yet to try. But <laughs> this is just a little plus for me. So I'm excited to try this item out. And what would a Lush haul be without some samples? For those of you who don't know, Lush is a great place to go and look at great products. They have every single thing that they sell there, they have testers for that you can try out. But sometimes testers are just not enough in the store. Sometimes you need to actually try them at home to like really know if they're worth their money. I make it a kind of habit whenever I go to Lush, I always ask for samples of something because I just want to try out every single product that they have there and so I did get a few samples this time. They do have a brand new solid conditioner bar and that I find so intriguing and so interesting. I do have a few shampoo bars by Lush that I really do like and this one is actually called Big Conditioner and it smells very really 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 nice too. The thing about this is it's supposed to give you volume, it's conditioner that's supposed to give you volume and what I think about when I hear that is drying out my hair and I do not want to dry out my hair. Also the nice thing about bars at Lush is that you can always determine how much of it you want so if you don't want to spend that much money you can always get a smaller bar of this conditioner. I wanted to try it out because I just feel like I worry that it's going to dry out my hair. It's made with seaweed and extra virgin coconut oil which is supposed to be extremely moisturizing for your hair. However, it's also made with sea salt, which is the item that's supposed to volumize your hair, but I worry that there's a chance that it might just overdo it and possibly dry up my hair instead of volumizing it. So that's exactly why I wanted to have a sample of this before I committed to buying it. And even though it's a brand new product and even though it's bar, they had no problem giving me a sample of it. The next item was an item, or is an item, that is extremely popular, it's extremely I don't say controversial, but like people either really, really love it or they just don't think it's worth the money. And it is the Lovely Jubblies Cream. And this is a breast cream and decollete cream, and it's supposed to be firming and just making all the lady parts all nice again. Because before I actually commit to buying it, I want to know that it works really nicely. It's not very strong smelling, but one thing it does say is that if you do apply it, it's kind of like having a floral bouquet on your chest. So when people go to hug you or to smell you, you have this kind of floral scent already on. And the last sample I got was the Marilyn Hair Treatment Sample. This is a big sample because you do need a lot of the product to actually get it to work. And this is also another expensive item at Lush, exactly why I wanted to have a sample of it first. So what this is, is the treatment for blondes. For natural blondes as well as color treated blondes and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make your blonde blonder brighter. The way that they suggest you use it is to put it on, leave it on for anywhere from like 10 minutes to up to I think 30 minutes, 45 minutes and then go shower it off. It's supposed to just make your hair just really nice and bright if you're a blonde and I think it's also supposed to slightly lighten up the color as well so I'm excited to try out this sample as well.
And it is not the end of the video, it is now the fun part of the video, the part of the video I'm most excited to share with you guys. And I got a gift that I wanted to share with you because I love Lush so much. And it is a pre-wrapped gift, it's the Relax and Take a Bath gift. And it has some of the items that I have used and I absolutely adore. It has the Golden Slumbers Bath Bomb, which is a bath bomb that is infused with lavender. If you take a bath with this bath bomb right before you go to sleep, it will pretty much put you in a state of just ready to go to bed, to bed afterwards and just sleep the night away. The next item is the Dreamtime Luxury Bath Melt. This is such a creamy, nice product to add to your bath. Not only does it have the aromas that will kind of just relax you, but it will add kind of like a creamy texture to your bath that is just amazing. And the last product that it has in here is the Dorothy Bubble Bar, which is the coolest looking bubble bar ever. It looks like a little blue cube with, or I should say round circle, with the rainbow over it. So it looks, it's called Dorothy because it's somewhere with a rainbow. It is just such a cool looking bubble bar and it does turn your bath blue and it's kind of a neat little thing to have and I love it. If you guys would like the opportunity to win this gift set, there's just a few rules you'll have to follow in order to do so. One, you have to be subscribed to this channel. Two, you have to go ahead and like this video. And three, just leave a comment on what your favorite Lush product is. It can be seasonal, it can be a year-round product. And I'll go ahead and decide the winner on February 14th on Valentine's Day. I'll go ahead and close it off and then announce who the winner is. And I'll contact you by YouTube message as well as announce it on the video information bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and enter this giveaway and I am so excited to get started on all these Lush products. I'm so excited to see what your guys' answers are to your favorite Lush products. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.